Look at this view. From his village home, perched on Mount Carmel, Zaydan Atachi vents his anger. The government is the lousiest in the Jewish history. A former diplomat and member of parliament, the 78-year-old Druze has maintained unwavering support for the state of Israel. Till now. If they don't change the law, we will change our behavior and loyalty to the land and to the state of Israel. We will not lose, certainly, our land because of the very extreme right who is trying to nationalize everything for the Jews. In July, the Knesset passed a law stipulating Israel as the home of the Jewish people. It also officially stripped Arabic as its second language. The Druze community sees it as an attempt to sideline them as second-class citizens. Since our children serve under the same flag, we can't sleep in peace. This is why we are claiming equality. We defend the same country. The Druze have always fought alongside Jewish soldiers in the Israeli army. But since the introduction of the Jewish nation-state law, several are considering defecting. Anan Wahabi served in the Israeli well, army for 28 years. Here I have a, a photo of myself. He understands when uh, people desert the, last, the army but uh, refuses to encourage it. The majority of our soldiers and our officers are uh, still there and waiting to change this law. The most right-wing government in Israel's history is seeking a way out of its controversial move. It has offered the Druze community financial compensation, which it has rejected, to stand in solidarity with other minorities.